Hey crafty peeps, today's video is cute ice cream decor for your tear tray. Most of these projects are from Dollar Tree and super easy to make. Let's get crafting! For this first project, I'm going to take these letters that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. They were $1.99 each, but they were half off, so they just cost me a dollar a piece. And then I'm going to take um, some paint here in this creamy color, and I'm going to paint the bottom half of my letters with that, and it's going to look like the ice cream cone. So I'll go ahead and I will coat all of the letters, again, just about halfway down. And now using the three colors you see there, which is pink, purple, and blue, I will paint the top halves now and that will be looking like my ice cream. Now I'm just grabbing this plastic stick I have and I'm going to make little sprinkles. I, in hindsight I wouldn't have used this tool but once I did it I was kind of committed but I would use maybe a little brush or I'm not sure if a toothpick would work but just something I was trying to make little like rectangle little sprinkles. So I just use the opposite colors on each one so on the pink I'm just using the blue and purple and white I added that in to make little sprinkles. And then, after I get all my sprinkles on, I'm going to take a brown marker and I'm going to make the diagonal stripes at the bottom of the letter to look like a cone. I did not have a brown sharpie or I couldn't find my brown sharpie so I used a brown marker. I don't recommend it. I recommend using a sharpie if you can. But if you're patient and you use your marker just make sure you don't smear it so that it has time to dry. Um, so definitely let it dry in between um, your layers. So I'm going to do all my diagonals in this direction and then I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to flip it and I will draw it in the opposite direction. And this is how they turn out when they are all finished. And then I took a terracotta pot and I used the same technique um, as I did with the letters and just painted ice cream on the top and then again made the bottom look like a cone. For this project, I wanted to make an ice cream truck. So I found these ambulances at Dollar Tree, this little one here, and then this bigger one. So I decided to go with the bigger one. So I take this ambulance and I go ahead and I peel off all of the little stickers that it has on it. And this is what it looks like after the stickers are off. 
So then I take some paint, and now this is the same color paint I've been using previously. So I painted the top of the ambulance with this blue color, and then the pink stripes down, um, you know, on the bottom there. And then I kind of covered those red lights with that creamy color. So what I then I what I plan to do is to take my Cricut and do some vinyl lettering and whatnot. So I cut something for the side of the truck, the front of the truck, and then I just cut a strip of my vinyl and that's what's going to go between the blue layer and then the pink stripe layer to just give it that finished look. So this is what I come up with on my uh, Cricut cutter is these three little ice cream cones and those will go on the hood. I wasn't sure if these were going to cut out because they're so tiny and I thought, well, I don't know. And then this is what's going to go on this side. Okay, so here is where I had an oopsie. When I put the vinyl down, it took off the paint. So I repainted it. And then I put matte Mod Podge over the whole thing. And then it took my vinyls like a jam. So here you can see it with the strip along and then the two cute decals. Today's video is also a big collaboration with some other amazing YouTubers and it's a scavenger hunt. So you're gonna go through each of these videos and you're gonna find the secret word. Once you get all those secret words together, you will email what I have down in my description for a chance to win $300 sent to your PayPal. Sounds like a really good deal to me. So check down in my description for all the details. And my scavenger hunt word is chili. I picked up these signs from um, Dollar Tree. They're super cute on their own, but they really don't fit into any of my decor. So this is going to be perfect. And then I picked up these stickers at Hobby Lobby. They're normally $4.99 and I got them half off. So they were 250. <laughs> so I'm popping out the middle here onto the sign and I will go ahead and just kind of tear up, tear off this front layer. And I'm going to cover it so it doesn't have to be super smooth or anything like that. And so I'm going to do that with each of these signs. Now I went to my printer and I went on and I just printed out um, some words that I typed out in this. I use a couple different fonts. And then I just printed it out onto cardstock. And I'll simply just take my glue stick and glue it onto the front of this. And then once I get that all centered and looking good, I'll take some hot glue here and then put it around the inside. And you want to make sure it's very thin layer because you don't want it to squish out. And then I'll put the little saying back inside the frame. Now, if you can't find this exact frame, Dollar Tree has so many cute little frames like this that it shouldn't be too much trouble to find something similar. And so then once I get that all in there, this is where the stickers come in. And I actually kind of forgot to uh, measure the stickers in a little bit, but my plan was to put the ice creams on each side there, and it ended up turning out really cute. And then for the other sign, I did it off screen so you didn't have to watch me do the same thing again. And I just typed out Kennedy Family Creamery and added one of the stickers. I had bought a case of these gnomes from Dollar Tree because they were so cute and I've seen you know that people can paint them and then I saw on Etsy somebody made an ice cream gnome and so I wanted to recreate that and so using the same paints that I've been using I went ahead and painted this gnome to look like an ice cream cone. Dollar Tree has such fun, bright colors of spoons and whatnot, and so I took these and I added some vinyl, and this is what I got. 
And that is all the projects for today. I hope you enjoyed them. They're quick and simple and so fun. And this is what they look like all together on my tear tray. I hope you enjoyed them. I think they're so fun and so summery. And you know, yeah, I had a good time. I think everything but the stickers and yum letters are from, which were from Hobby Lobby. Everything else was from Dollar Tree. All right, friends, until next time. Happy crafting.